What up guys, Joe White here, and I promised you guys two videos today, so I guess I better deliver. The door is open over here. I don't know why this door is open. Makes it look like it's close up with my finger pointing here, but it's I, I don't know why it's open. I think the cat's in there, so if you see the cat crawl out or something. Eh. Anyway, I have an idea for, and, and this is just me armchair booking, and I know a lot of people hate that, but I... I I have these ideas that come to me, and I feel like I must, get, you know, give them an outlet. You know, I have to let them out. Um, so that's what this channel's for me personally. I mean, you know, it's all from a Mark's point of view. But uh, Bray Wyatt, kind of floundering right now. They're talking about feeding him to Ryback, or Ry Ryback being fed to him to help him get his win back. Which, by the way, I, I as I reach for something to drink here, this... Has anybody else seen this? Mellow Yellow Cherry? Just saw this today. I know it looks like watered down Kool-Aid. Look how, look how thin that is. It really looks like... You know what this looks like is, is if you're walking down the road or, or you know, you, you walk to a friend's house in their backyard somewhere. We've all done this. And you see like a soda bottle that's been sitting in their backyard for 15 years. That's what this looks like. And I'm guessing this is Mellow Yellow's version of Code Red, which Coca-Cola, if you're listening, I would love some money for endorsing it because this is really good. Bring this to 12 packs. Anyway, um, Bray Wyatt, he's floundering right now since his lawsuit is on The Undertaker and he needs something to do. So, something came to me last night while I was working and I was like hmm how about we elevate Bray Wyatt a little bit put him in some damn good matches and at the same well not maybe not elevate him but put him in some good matches and at the same time make it to where he make it to where he does not you know make it to, you, you could do this you can make it to where he still loses but you can, or maybe even wins, it doesn't matter really, but as long as the matches are good, but you can make it to where he takes a guy from NXT and lifts him up. And this is a guy who they've been talking about, A, all the critics out there, the big name critics such as Meltzer, you know, NXT, you know the guys at PW Insider, Wade Keller, you know, um, Bruce Mitchell, everybody like that, say that the guy doesn't need to be there anyway. Um, and that's Finn Balor. And a lot of people are sitting there going, Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt? <laughs> Fuck yeah. I think it'd be awesome. You have Bray Wyatt keep doing these little fear gimmick things. Hell, I'd like to see him do these damn good promos for the next month. And all of a sudden, you have in, down in NXT, maybe you have Bray, you know, or maybe you have Finn Balor wrestle somebody like a Tyler Breeze or, you know, somebody like that, and all of a sudden, out through the crowd, or even up from under the ring, there's many a ways they could do this, the lights go out, and Bray Wyatt's in the ring, you know, and he's, ah, you know, spreading his arms out, doing the shit, doing, maybe even doing the damn little spider walk that he does, and he destroys Finn Balor. One important thing here, Finn Balor does not have the pain on. That very that ties in very closely to the story that you tell with this. Balor must not have the paint on when Bray Wyatt attacks him. So Bray Wyatt shows up in NXT. You got Rhino down there, and now, now you can also take NXT and say you never know who's going to show up here. You got to get the WWE Network to see this. You never know who's going to show up here. Yada, yada, yada. Bam. You've just took NXT, and you've kind of made it a, you know, the brand's already growing. You've made it grow even bigger. Then you take... On Raw the next week, this the, you know this happens on a Wednesday or Thursday, whichever week NXT airs. It's Wednesday, okay, Wednesday. And then on Monday, Bray Wyatt's in the back, or maybe he does it in ring, preferably in ring, you know, because you have the lighting effect on the crowd with their cell phones, and you know. Bray Wyatt comes out on why he attacked him. You know, he, he doesn't, he's not afraid of caged beasts showing themselves. And he is the, he has no fear because he is the face of fear. Yada, yada, yada. The same Bray Wyatt promo that's awesome. 
and you show the footage from NXT on Raw of him attacking Bray. Or, or him attacking Finn, excuse me. I have this written down and I'm still screwing it up. But then you go to NXT the next week and you can still keep this quiet and do it with NXT being taped because it, it, it you know, it takes the people who only watch NXT. There's those people out there. I only watch NXT. That's real workers. I don't watch that TV scripted shit. Well, now you've given them a reason to tune into Raw too, because they want to see what Finn Balor's going to do to Bray Wyatt. They're gonna, they're gonna want to see what Balor does on the main show. So the next week, you know, maybe you have, you know, them showing footage or whatever, and you have Renee Young interviewing, you know, Bray Wyatt in the ring about why Balor. Why is it Balor? What is it about Balor? And you know, he has this un, he has this side of him. I'm trying to bring that side out. I'm trying to get him to show it all the time, not just some of the time when he needs to. Yada yada yada. And all of a sudden the lights go out, the red lights blink, the smoke comes up from the ramp, and you know, here comes Finn Balor out. Not in the paint. Not in the paint. This is important. No paint yet. Bam, 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 you have a big old brawl, whatever. Maybe even Balor comes out from the crowd. I, I don't know. Maybe even you don't need the smoke and mirrors yet. You don't need, I mean, you know, maybe you don't need to have the smoke and mirrors till the paint comes up. Blah, 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 they're off to the races. Bam, bam, bam. All of a sudden, you set up a pay-per-view match, even if it's on the damn pre-show of Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt. There's many ways, you, and, and it gets to the point where Bray keeps egging on. You know, you got to let that side of you show. Why don't you join me? Why don't you join my family? Look what I did for, the, for you know, Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. I can do that for you. I can show you how to take that fear and use it all the time. And, not and you know, that other side of yourself, let it show 24-7. Don't be afraid to use it, blah, blah, blah. And Finn could, could even cut a promo. I only use that when I have to, and it's to... It's to you know, beat down scumbags like you. It's good and evil. It's wrestling. It's what it's supposed to be. It's good and evil. You got a good guy. You got a bad guy. You want to see him fight. It's not that hard. And it's a way to take and elevate Finn Balor up. The gimmicks fit together. The story fits together. All of a sudden at the pay-per-view... You know, maybe Balor comes out on the Go Home show and goes, I'm going to show you that side this weekend, and I'm going to show you that I can use that side for good. It's kind of like, you know, if you've ever watched the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, and you had the whole Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde thing going, and in the end, Mr. Hyde ends up being good. He ends up helping Jekyll, and he ends up doing it for good. You could do the same concept here with Finn Balor. And I love the idea of him working with Bray Wyatt. You know, and, and maybe you can have Bray come in there and have, you know, Sister Abigail warn me about people like you. She said there are people out there who don't know what true power they possess. They, there's people out there that won't let that side show because they're afraid to. Well, you have no fear when you walk with me because I am the face of fear. And I'm going to teach you how to use that side. It's just so, it's so good. I'm sorry. I got to pat myself on the back. It's so good. It's good and evil. Maybe even a little bit of comic book shit thrown in there, but it's good. Anyway, I'm going to get off here. I don't know when my next video will be because tomorrow I got to work and Saturday I got a lot going on. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. Give me your ideas. What NXT guy would you like to see and how would you... You know, how would you bring them up? Because you can't, you know... The Ascension was good by them doing a couple of videos. And I got an idea, actually, for a way you could put a tag team on NXT right now. Or from NXT up on the main roster right now. But the thing is, you don't want to flood everything. You want to keep some of these guys in NXT. Because you need them to build the guys who have just been signed. You know? You, you need them to build the... The, uh... Ua nations and stuff like that. You need, you still need those seasoned NXT guys to work with people like that. So you don't want to hot shot everybody. But there is one tag team 
that I would love to see on the main roster. And, it, and it's, a, it's a feud that probably wouldn't mean much. It's probably a secondary tag feud, but it would be funny as hell to see, I think. But uh, maybe I'll do that video tomorrow. Anyway, comment, rate, like, subscribe. It used to be rate. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Give me five stars. But now it's just hit the like button. And subscribe. Comment below. I got a comment on my Tough Enough video already, and I didn't even put it on Facebook or Twitter. And the guy actually agreed with me, and I checked out his video, and it was very good, actually. Short, sweet, under 10 minutes, or under 60 seconds, and... I liked it. I hope he gets picked. Stupid Mark. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you. And uh, keep watching. Peace.